assistant professor back again for another song of the day. And of course, it's Octane Friday, right? So let's get it started. What do you think? What hard rockers are we going to bring to the table today? We got Rammstein, right? German band. Love those guys. ACDC. Nope. Iron Maiden. Come on. Nope. Five Finger Death Punch. I could really scare people with that. Not that. Who are we bringing today? Back. No! Kelly Clarkson! That's right. Kelly Clarkson for Song of the Day Octane Friday. Absolutely. Everybody knows, Kelly Clark Everybody knows who Kelly Clarkson is. One take, Mark. Uh, 2002, uh, she won the first American Idol competition. Then she came out with her first album, which was uh, called Thankful. And it's got songs like, you know, A Moment Like This, right? More ballad -y kind of stuff. And um, in and, and it became, sorry, that song became the best-selling country song of uh, 2002. Now, in 2004, she had the album uh, Breakaway which was a shift, uh, she had kind of called it, and almost the title Break Away, right, was, was breaking away a little bit from some of the pop that she was doing. And uh, that album sold 12 million copies. Uh, it created four or had four top 10 singles. And the single we're talking about today is Since You've Been Gone. So this song, Since You've Been Gone, absolutely awesome, awesome song, right? It was turned down by Pink and Hilary Duff. They didn't want to do it for some reason. Clive Davis actually was the one who stepped in and thought that Kelly would be awesome for it. And he convinced the songwriters to give the song uh, to Kelly, which oddly enough, they didn't want to give it to her. When she got it, she really didn't want the song and she changed it up. She added the heavy guitars. She added the he the harder drum beats, right? So there's so a, lot, a lot of the rocker side that Kelly has. And then the song after she made those changes and recorded it, it was top 10 in 10 countries. Um, so amazing um, success there. And 2021, just last year, Rolling Stone named it uh, number 93 on their list of the top 500 songs of all time. Uh, it also won a Grammy for Best Female Pop and Octane Friday a Vocalist. So, awesome song. Now, is this an Octane Friday song? Absolutely. Insane guitarist, right? Really, really awesome stuff. Great breaks. You guys all know the song, right? When the music stops and she kicks in again. I mean, that's just a really awesome, I don't know, moment, if you will. A moment like this. No, a moment in that song. So it's fantastic. Um, the vocals are unbelievable. And the drums, you know, pounding, pounding drums. Just a song that you play when you're rocking, you're working out, you want to go for a run, bike ride, whatever. Just dance around the house. It's an awesome tune. So we're going to put two links below for you. Everybody has this song on their playlist already, so I'm not gonna bother putting the actual, you know, official video song. Um, but I'm gonna post a uh, live cut on, in 2004, she was on the Jay Leno show. Take a listen to this, it's live. I mean, she is so phenomenal. It's just a, a great example of how, what a great singer she was to be able to sound the way she does live on that clip. The other clip that I would highly recommend you listen to is uh, Rick Beato. He's a producer and he does a lot of great um, podcasts or video podcasts that are um, called What Makes This Song Great. He's done about 150 of them or something. And this was one of those songs. Check that out. He's a producer who has all the gear. So what he can do is isolate the vocals or the drums or the guitars, right? And he points out all the real technical reasons of why this is such a great song. Highly recommend it. A lot better than listening to me. You'll actually will learn something. Uh, and I really, I enjoyed that a lot. So anyway, there is your song of the day. Short and sweet. Not 11 minutes on, on a heavy, heavy metal band, but just a few minutes, I think, on what's a fantastic hard rocking song that you guys will all enjoy kicking into the weekend. So have a great one. Uh, and whatever you're doing, I uh, hope it involves music because music makes everything better. There's your new tagline, Mark. I've been so in this